Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Uh, Derek, I think I have decided to use that old graphic we've used before, uh, one size fits all. Is that handy there? I believe so. Just a second. All right. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, I've got it right here. Yeah, there, there you go. That's good. Although I got to ask, I read through the script and I'm not really sure what this one size fits all graphic has to do with Charles Schwab. Really? Oh, well, let's find out. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money. The Worry-Free Retirement with your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist and six-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Let me ask you a question. Assuming you are the proud owner of a 401k plan, have you ever wondered aloud why so many of the investments offered by the person running the 401k all start to look and sound alike? In fact, as you study the experience of the ups and downs of the roller coaster ride of the stock market, you might begin to assume that no matter which stocks or mutual funds you select offered within the 401k plan, after a while, all seem to act and behave in the same manner. For instance, you probably noticed such a phenomenon this year as both stocks and bonds plummeted together. In other words, no matter which investment you selected, when the market goes up, they all go up. But when the market goes down, yep, they all go down. Which might lead a saver to believe that the one-size-fits-all offerings of the various options within the 401k are all about the same, and when it comes down to trying to find the right investment suited to your specific situation, well, you might as well throw a dart at a dartboard. Which is why today, I'm going to show you how we at Tony Walker Financial avoid the pitfalls of offering a one-size-fits-all approach to money in retirement by giving you options that include both the potential for growth and protection of your principal. So, let's get started. Well, welcome, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I am that little man in the sweater vest, no one-size-fits-all retirement planning specialist and fiduciary, Tony Walker. And before we get started with showing you how to avoid falling into the one-size-fits-all approach of retirement, let me introduce two folks in the Worry-Free Retirement Studios who fit like a glove when it comes to producing this show each week, America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orander, and Louisville, Kentucky's most laid-back graphics artist, Mr. Derek Hudson. Okay, let's set the stage. Maybe you've already retired, thinking of retiring soon, maybe have a 401k with a previous employer, or even thinking handing over your life savings to someone who is trying to convince you that there's this magic financial product, this one-size-fits-all solution to a worry-free retirement. And it's not just the 401k plan that offers a one-size-fits-all approach to money. You've got a whole host of annuity peddlers suggesting you toss all of your money into one annuity. And then, on the other extreme, money managers who tell you to trust in the stock market, but when it fails, simply tell you to hang in there. So with the one-size-fits-all approach, whatever you decide to invest in, you're stuck in. And that's why so many people, in my opinion, worry about their money. They feel they don't have any other options, but what the advisor suggests is the one-size-fits-all solution. Which is why today we're going to show you how we at Tony Walker Financial avoid the one-size-fits-all way of doing business by offering a wide range of products and financial services, providing the saver maximum use, maximum enjoyment, and of course, maximum protection of their money. So stay tuned as we explore in great detail a service that is really taking off at Tony Walker Financial, one that the competition knows little about. I'll be right back.
Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement and in the studios is Mr. Wes Walker, my favorite nephew and fellow fiduciary. Good morning and how are you doing, Wes? Good, Tony. How's it going? Uh, very good. And I've been looking forward to having you. Our theme is there's no one size fits all. And I've got to start off our little segment with something that occurs at least once a week. I know you've heard this. A pr prospective client who's maybe watched the show, listened to the radio show or whatever, comes in to see me. Maybe they're kicking the tires with other advisors. Maybe they have another advisor. And for whatever reason, they've mentioned to them that they're thinking of working with Tony Walker Financial. What is the first words out of the advisor's mouth sometimes about what they think we do? That guy's going to slap you in an annuity. <laughs> that's all they do, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what we hear, or I hear at least from prospective clients all the time. Hey, I talked to somebody down at the bank, or I've talked to another advisor. They said that Walker fellow is probably just going <laughs> to slap you in an annuity. They usually word, use the word slap, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. slap. Very yeah. condescending. <laughs> well, you know, I think what we want to do today is make sure everybody understands that we are not a one-size-fits-all firm. Uh, we have, I think, over $185 million with Charles Schwab, which, again, folks, nothing to do with annuities. Uh, I think Shannon Ross said we've got over 2,000 clients, or accounts, rather, but speak to the fact that you've seen over the last three years in my desire to have continuous improvement, continuous offerings, the things we do to try to make sure that these savers have a wide range of choices. Well, as your clients have invested a lot of money into the Charles Schwab platform, so have you. You've really put a lot back into making sure that our billing and our reporting is top notch as well as our rebalancing. So we're doing quarterly rebalances, try to make sure that the portfolios and the strategies stay in line. Uh, you've really committed a lot of not only money, but just effort, time, and staff to this Charles Schwab platform, and it's just gotten better and better. So I think it is pretty powerful. And I think I, I commend you for your abilities to come in and what you're learning. You're doing a great job, man. I didn't uh, didn't realize you were actually this smart. I was quite surprised. I thought you are just a good high school Benefits catcher. of low expectations, right? <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about that. You mentioned the rebalancing. One of your jobs is to manage the three strategies. Uh, Derek, have we got those ready to go? Let's talk about these three strategies real quickly and just uh, briefly go over those. So somebody comes to us, mm -hmm. maybe they do put some money in annuity, they put some money with Charles Schwab, they do have some options. They don't have to just put it all at growth and they don't have to be totally conservative. So what are our three strategies we manage? Sure, so we've got conservative, moderate, and growth. And each is really just managed on different lengths of time and different uh, you know, investment goals. So your conservative strategy is typically going to be for a shorter period of time. A lot of folks are taking money from that you know, maybe in the next few months or the next year. That moderate may be for someone with a little bit more risk tolerance who maybe is holding it for a little bit of a longer period. And then growth is going to be for someone who does want to try and grow at all costs, so to speak. So. And, and I noticed the exposure. Uh, go through these, Derek. So talk about that and, and what we're doing there with a lot of ETFs. This is what you manage and rebalance that. That's what we call a rebalance, right? The allocations. Right. So what we do with a rebalance is just try to keep the allocations in line with this model. And in our conservative strategy, about 12% of the strategy is made up of equities or stocks. The rest is either CDs, short-term fixed income, things that are a little bit more stable. So it does have a low degree of stock market exposure. And then next, that's a moderate. Yeah. yeah. Next, we've got the moderate strategy. 45% of this strategy is in the market. The balance, again, is in just uh, short-term CDs or short-term fixed income instruments. And that's important, too. You talk about the duration of fixed income. This conservative and this moderate strategy, we try not to let the duration of the bonds get too long because, as we've seen in 2022, if interest rates go up and you've got long-term bonds, they can really go down quickly. Yeah, what were you saying in 2022, the bond uh, index, how much has it gone down this year? Yeah, so just ticker symbol AGG, it's the aggregate bond index. It kind of takes your U.S. Treasuries, your corporate bonds, any kind of fixed income instruments. That is down 14.5% year to date in 2022 as of today. Wow, that's something else. And then finally, we have the, this is, I mean, although probably somebody on Wall Street would say 40 to 70% in the market, that's not real growth yeah. oriented, but describe why we have to be a little more careful with our saver clients. Well, here's something funny. That risk score, 54 on the growth, 
you think, okay, that's the highest of the three. The risk score of the S&P 500 is 72. Wow. So even our most aggressive strategy is less risky than the stock market as a whole, because we do, we are working with savers and we mm -hmm. really can't take too, too much risk in the market. That's, that's well said. Okay, so let's get back to this reporting software because we've used one vendor, we won't name them by name. Now we're using another vendor. Uh, you took a little trip to Jacksonville, but tell us what the clients can expect and back to this continuous improvement theme of making sure that the clients understand, number one, what they've got with us, good reports, that everything's fully disclosed, and what you've learned from this new software we're gonna be deploying at the first of 2023. Sure, so they can come to expect even better reporting. I know up to this point, we've spent a lot of money and a lot of time trying to fine tune our reporting. We send out quarterly statements from our office that really give a detailed snapshot of how the accounts have performed, you know, kind of we back testing what the rates of return have been and all that good stuff shows withdrawals that have come out. But this new software and this new company that we're going with is going to give even detailed, even more detailed reporting. And, but it's going to be simple at the same time too. So you get the best of both worlds. It's easy to understand, but all the information you need to have is right there. I know, uh, I think you were in this meeting yesterday and uh, uh, you know, a, a retiree came in with her son and the reporting software we use, current one, and I'm hoping we're gonna get this fixed by the way, but it had lopped together their withdrawals. They, they did have some losses through some bonds, but the way it was reported, okay, she was looking at it and I was even looking at it. It looked like it was a lot worse than it was because we hadn't segregated out the money she had withdrawn. So speak to how much money we encourage people to take back out of their accounts and how, you know, you have to understand if you're pulling money out of the account, you're not losing money, you're just taking money to use it. So uh, speak to the philosophy of worry-free retirement and getting money back to those people. Well, we talked about this on the radio show earlier. A lot of advisors, they've just got the money sitting there. They're trying to grow it. It's not as much about getting the money back to the clients in the form of income because they're not working with a lot of retirement clients. So that's kind of our bailiwick. That's what we do and specialize in. So a lot of the money that we have in Charles Schwab is set to go back out to clients and on those statements, that's kind of what it's showing, those withdrawals that have been taken mm -hmm. out. And like you said, in this case, they were kind of intermingled with some losses. So you looked at it on paper like, whoa, that doesn't look yeah. right. Yeah. But then once we really dug into it, understood that it was a combination of withdrawals and losses. So our new reporting should help out with that a little bit. Yeah, I'm just very excited. I understand also you snuck to Jacksonville on the plane, your golf clubs. And uh, tell us a little bit about the world famous golf course. Actually, your dad and myself have played this course. This is you right here. What? Uh, don't roll it yet, Derek. We got some video here, but <laughs> where, where did you get to play? Go ahead. Well, yeah, so you treated me to a round at TPC Sawgrass. Thank you very much for that. You're it's welcome. Awesome. Yeah, it's uh, one of the most famous golf courses in the world. It's got the famous uh, 17 green. It's like an island. Tiger Woods yeah, actually, is out there Aaron, a couple times. Aaron, yeah, Aaron, play the video of him hitting on uh, 17. I think we've got that video clip. How did you do on this, by the way? So yeah, 17 is the famous island green hole. Ended up pushing that first ball a little <laughs> bit right into the water and then got my next one up there, two putted for a double bogey. What's interesting, they give you that bag tag and then oh, they'll yeah. write your score on that hole. I just told them put the infinity sign, that'll cover it. Oh, so, I like yeah. that. But you ended up at number eight, which is a beautiful hole. And I think you, 18, excuse me. I think you picked it up a notch. In fact, uh, let's let this roll. You had a heck of a drive here, didn't you? <laughs> and look at this. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Best of the day, buddy. And I love the comment. Who was playing along with you? Yeah, they linked me up with a couple of folks from Canada, and uh, I think they own some home manufacturing stuff up there. Really nice people. But uh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> that after the drive, I'd like to bottle that up and just have it to play anytime I hit a golf ball. It's awesome. Uh, you probably slipped him a 20 for that comment, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Paid him more than the caddy. <laughs> well, folks, we'll be right back. Thanks for your time, Wes. You're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. You wouldn't go through major surgery without getting a second opinion, would you? Well, of course not, and neither should you blindly trust your life savings to the first advisor you meet. I'm retirement specialist Tony Walker, and for more than 37 years I've been providing free second opinions and I'd like to do the same for you. To get your free second opinion, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, that's TonyWalkerFinancial.com, or call the toll-free number on your screen.
Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement. In our last segment, we got to talk with fellow fiduciary Wes Walker about his role in terms of trading and all of the strategies that we set up in terms of managing the portfolios at Charles Schwab. Right now, I'm pleased to introduce someone who's been with me from the get-go back in 2017 when we first started the Charles Schwab platform from our Bowling Green headquarters, Miss Shannon Ross. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning to you, Tony. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And just briefly tell the audience a little bit about your role at Tony Walker Financial as it pertains to the Charles Schwab department. Of course. So I am the investment services coordinator here for Tony Walker Financial, which basically means I lead the brokerage department and take care of anything and everything that has to do with our Charles Schwab investment accounts. And we've got how many accounts now with Charles Schwab? Over 2,100 brokerage accounts currently. Wow. I, we, we so much appreciate your efforts and the staff there, Shannon. Okay. You know me, I always want to get better, continuous improvement. So what are we getting ready to launch in terms of improving not only our trading capabilities, but our reporting software so that our clients can better understand the reports we send them? Well, we are always trying to improve our processes here as a firm, as well as leverage new technologies available to us. And one of the ways we're doing that is we're transitioning to a new vendor for our billing and reporting uh, software, uh, which generates the quarterly reports for our brokerage clients. And we're hoping um, this will help our clients be able to understand and have better readability of their, their brokerage statements so they can see clearly what they have and uh, what their fees are and uh, just be able to, to read those statements uh, very easily. Well, Shannon, we appreciate all the work you're doing and working hard to make sure that our clients understand what they've got. And uh, for you and the staff there, we just thank you so much for providing this valuable service to our clients. So you make it a good one. You too, Tony. Thanks. You're welcome. Our Tony in the Trenches comes to us from Justin in Bowling Green, who asked the following question. Tony, I know you always talk about the tax tumor, as you call it, buried inside my 401k plan, but do you really think taxes will go up in the future? And how easy would it be for our friends in Washington to raise our taxes? While well, talking about the ability to raise taxes, check this out in Massachusetts, where they imposed, and this was the voters, by the way, not the politicians, something called the millionaire's tax, which basically taxes anybody who makes over a million dollars an extra 4%. Now you might be saying, well, what's that got to do with my 401k plan? Folks, they could easily do things like this with your 401k plan. So with things being so low now in terms of tax brackets, this is why you need a plan. You know, I got to thinking about this. It'd be like almost imagining driving over the bridge to pay a toll somewhere. And they say, hey, you know what? Since you've got a nicer car, we're gonna charge you a higher toll. It would be ridiculous which of course they could easily increase the taxes on your 401k plan. Okay, let's get back to the theme of our show of no one size fits all and how do we at Tony Walker Financial avoid the one size fits all mantra? Well, it's what you get. First of all, what you get is the opportunity to meet with the owner of the company. That's right, Tony Walker himself will meet with you to discuss your situation and to share any findings through what we call a second opinion. And again, this service is absolutely free. Number two, what you'll get if you work with Tony Walker Financial, three salaried fiduciaries who have no conflicts of interest and who do not work on a commission basis. Their purpose is to serve your needs and to make sure that we're following through on the game plan that we have established for you. The third way Tony Walker Financial avoids the one-size-fits-all issue is having 11 full-time service professionals. Now, these folks are there for your beck and call. They are local, either in our Bowling Green or Louisville, Kentucky offices. They are there to meet your needs. No calling a 1-800 number and talking to some financial institution that you don't know who they are. These are local folks that are here to help you. And finally, the fourth thing that really sets us apart is we have our own in-house tax department. Again, free of charge. We're not doing tax returns, folks. We're doing the planning around your retirement. We wanna make sure that your RMDs are calculated properly. If you wanna look at Roth conversions, if you're taking out money from the Schwab, uh, annuities, we do all of the withholdings. Again, this service is absolutely free. 
So if you don't have somebody in your corner like this that can do these types of things, and instead you're just following for the one size fits all mantra from the financial world, I gotta ask you a question. Why in the world wouldn't you take advantage of working with a local firm like Tony Walker Financial? And guess what? It's very easy to get started. All you gotta do is log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, or if you like, if the internet's not your thing, just simply give us a call at 270-843-9380. So what does the Bible say about avoiding the one-size-fits-all approach to your faith? Some interesting methods of advertising back in Jesus' day that actually might just surprise you. I'm Tony Walker. You're watching The Worry Free Retirement. Let me grab another cup of coffee. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Juanita Jackson, Investment Services Administrator here at Tony Walker Financial. Today, I would like to give you a quick tip on uh, account security and fraud protection. When you call to inquire about information on your account or other information, you may have noticed that one of the first things we do is ask you a series of questions to verify your identity. Now, you're not going to reach an automated line when you call into Tony Walker Financial. You're going to reach an actual person that has eyes on your account and on your protected information. You may not know this, but you can actually call in and add an additional feature, your own passcode or password or passphrase to your account uh, that will alert us that we need to also identify uh, you by this information. We are happy to add that in security feature to your profile at any point, just give us a call. Of course, if you have any other questions or if you need any assistance with your accounts, please give us a call at 877-499-9255. That's 877-499-9255. Thanks. Are you retired or retiring soon? Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all of our latest educational content and previous shows of the Worry for Retirement. Just log on to youtube.com and search Tony Walker Financial. As someone who over the past 38 years has literally spent well into the seven figures on advertising, I'll have to say this, of all the money I've ever invested in this TV program, TV ads, our radio show, radio ads, and yes, even money I've invested in advertising our firm's services on the internet, the best investment I've ever made is in the people I've hired to service the clients we serve, and of course, the folks I've hired to produce the Worry-Free Retirement each week. I've discovered to successfully serve the needs of thousands of savers, one must have a top-notch staff to serve their needs. And of all the advertising one can do, the best of them all is when your friends and your clients tell their friends, family, and coworkers about your services and in a positive light, something the advertising world refers to as word of mouth. As evidence to my belief in the importance of word of mouth advertising, when a current client refers someone to our office, I sit down and write our client a thank you note to express my gratitude for their trust and confidence in our services. To me, sitting down to write a client a thank you note is the least I can do for them referring someone to our office. Today, we tend to think this concept of word of mouth advertising is a new thing, but it's not at all. In fact, if it had not been for the word of mouth advertising some 2,000 years ago, the wonderful good news of the saving grace of God offered through Jesus Christ may have never gotten off the ground. Notice in Acts 15.1, where our newfound freedom-loving Christians were quickly reminded by the one-size-fits-all religious folks that they needed to do something else besides just simply believing in order to be saved, which leads the apostles in verse 11 to remind these new believers that their saving faith comes through Christ and not through works. With the religious folks constantly preaching their one-size-fits-all approach to life, the apostles combated their efforts with a word-of-mouth campaign that got started in Acts 15, 27. How did they do it? By sending out into the world two fellows by the name of Judas and Silas with a very simple and very clear message to report the same things by, you guessed it, word-of-mouth. 
Yet there's only one problem with word of mouth advertising and that's the naysayer steering people in the wrong direction. Look at what happens in Acts 19.1 where the apostle Paul questions the people who have been baptized into John and whether this one size fits all method of getting to God is really the way to go. He confirms their faith by asking them this all important question in verse two. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? To which the baptized of John responded, listen closely, no, and here's the key folks, we have not even heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. Did you catch that? Well-meaning people who are following after others yet know no other way because they've fallen victim to the one-size-fits-all approach preached by others who didn't know there was any other way. You know, I see this one-size-fits-all falsehood play out all the time. When prospective clients interested in our services tell me what our competitors say about our services and what they might expect, the competitors usually say something like this. Oh, you're thinking of working with Tony Walker? You realize all, all he's going to do is throw all of your money into an annuity, which of course, as we've learned today, is not true at all. In fact, like the folks who had never heard of the Holy Spirit, most savers I meet who have been indoctrinated into the financial world's one-size-fits-all approach have never heard of all of the different options and choices that we offer through Tony Walker Financial. Annuities? Well, of course, but we also offer stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, bank certificates of deposit, life insurance, long-term care insurance, and yes, even for our clients, Medicare supplements. So why would our friendly competitors share false statements about us? Well, of course, the answer is always the same answer, money. So here's my thoughts. Whether it's who you'll decide to follow with your money into retirement or who you'll decide to follow with your faith into heaven, here's what we need to do. Forget what the naysayers might say and instead always go directly to the source of truth. And that, my friends, is some good news you can take to the bank. Well, my name is Tony Walker, and for more than 38 years, we've been helping savers worry less about money, and we'd like the opportunity to help you too. And by the way, at Tony Walker Financial, there is no one size fits all. That's why we need to talk in person and do a complete assessment to see how we might help you with the various offerings that we have. So here's what you can do right now. To take advantage of this free offer to talk with the owner of the company, all you gotta do is log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. And once there, you're gonna click on that Let's Get Started button. Now, that information is confidentially sent to our offices and we will arrange what we call a free 10-minute fiduciary phone call. Then, after that phone call, if it warrants, I'll be happy to meet with you again at no cost, no fee, no obligation at either our Bowling Green, Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky offices. So take advantage of this free offer by logging onto our website, or if you like, just give us a call at 270-843-9380. That's 270 270-843-9380. Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's program, but you remember, between now and next week, if all else fails, you be worry-free. Make it a good one.